Um, welcome to our next challenge. I'm going to bring on Team TBD. You can see who is most recently voted out. So Team TBD, please turn on your videos. And Joey was voted out at last banishment. Jody was voted out. So tonight we have our challenge, Team TBD 2.0 versus the Big Green. And we are gonna do one of our favorites, which is name that thing. Um, Team Big Green will have to sit one person out. Um, before I ask you to sit someone out, we actually have a very special guest to show us how this challenge will work. Let me get this set up. Hold on one second, bear with me, name that thing. Okay, hey B, do you wanna turn on your video? Hi B. Hi, so this is B, and she is a fan of ours. She watches, are you in Ohio? Yeah. That's awesome. Are you staying uh, up late on a school night? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to give everyone, we're gonna, I'm going to ask you to show the example. Um, let me just get to it. What, is, what does this one mean, all the three pictures? Um, Hanukkah? Hanukkah! Woo! Round of applause for B. Thank you. And B came on here to help us wish everyone a first very happy and healthy night of Hanukkah, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else you want to say? Um, it's okay if you don't. <laughs> go, Jody. Okay. Everyone say thank you, B. Thank you, B. Thank you. Thank you, B. Happy Hanukkah, B. Thank you. Um, B, you have to go to sleep now. That's the only option. You have to go to bed. Um, <laughs> no. She stayed up late for us. We so appreciate her. Um, so that's right. We are going to be doing Name That Thing. So Team TBD, please let us, or sorry, Team Big Green, let us know who is going to be sitting out. Um, they cannot be helping. They cannot be in the Slack channels. If we see that, we will dock you a point. Um, also, how this is going to work, I know we've done it different um, differently each season. How this is going to work is um, you're going to have one representative for uh, each round. I believe there are four rounds. They will have their video on and um, whichever team buzzes in first will get to make the guess. If they get it wrong, the other team will have 20 seconds to try to make a new guess to get a point. If they don't get it, a point goes to producer Katie. Otherwise, no points at all. Um, so you won't lose a point for a wrong answer, but if you are wrong, it will go to the other one. Um, and now this is very, very important. Everyone pay attention. So TBD, your buzz in phrase will be, hey now, and team big green, your buzz in phrase will be all star. So that is what I will be listening to in order to know who is buzzing in. Um, big green, please let me know who you are sitting out. Kelsey, I have a question. Yep. Is there a time limit? Let's say like there's the team that buzzes, gets it wrong, and then the next team goes. Is there a time limit? 20 seconds. And did you say the categories? I did not say the categories, nor will I. Uh, you, you said uh, Big Green is uh, all-star is our buzzin? Yep. You guys, your buzzin word is or phrase is all-star and TBD, your phrase is hey now. And whoever buzzes in first we'll get to make the guess. And you guys can all collaborate in the channel with the exception of the person who's sitting out from the big green. Um, and yeah, that's how we'll do it. So big green, please let me know who you are sitting out. I, I think it's me, Kelsey. Okay, great. So Shannon, gonna look you in the eyes. If I see you in the channel trying to help, there'll be trouble, I'm trusting you. Please turn your video off. Um, and now I'm going to ask that I have one representative for each team to go first and everyone else will turn off their video. So it's a head to head each for each. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so whoever oh, passes in first. I also have a question though. They can be, we can be helping them and like chatting. It's like, it's yes, in your thing. channel, They're you can start. certainly yeah. all be helping and working together. I see. And so, uh, if the people go one to six, do we rotate back up to one? If you want to keep the same person in the whole time, I don't care. If you want to swap it out each round, go for it. I truly just need one representative so that it's not all everyone on the screen. 
So one person could do all six rounds. Sure, if they want to be there that are, person. Are, there, are, th there aren't six rounds. There's there not six rounds, rounds, but yes. Oh, I'm, I'm planning on overtime, two rounds of overtime. Okay, <laughs> great, Ben. Um, okay, so I see it dwindling. I still don't know who is representing each team. Oh, Molly and Hilly. Great. Okay, Dad, turn your video off when you get a chance, please. Okay, so our first round will be plants. Plants. And here is our first one. Rosebush. Oh, I mean, hey now. Hilly? I was muted. Rosebush. Correct. I was muted. Sorry. I'm new to this game. Thank Correct. God, that no. is one point for TBD. The answer was Rosebush. You here got comes, it. Muted. Uh, that's not that's your own technical difficulty. Don't mute yourself, Hill. Put yourself off mute. Okay. No, no, no I thought we next. I know, oh, I know. Still but... the same round. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Still, oh, okay. Sorry. We're still mute. in plants. Here we go. go. Next one. Oh, um, I'll, I'll start. I'll start. Molly, I'll start. That's a weeping willow. Correct. One point for big green. We are tied. That was a weeping willow. Here comes our next one. All star. Okay, Molly. All star. That's a Venus flytrap. Correct. Another point for big green. Here comes our next one. All star. Molly. I think that's poison ivy. Correct. Another point for big green. Wait, when can we sub out? <laughs> we can be using Slack from our team, right? Like our team can be yeah. helping us. You can be using Slack. Okay, great. Doing great, Molly. Doing great. Great. The, Next my one. Team is helping you. All star. Yep. That's poinsettia. Correct. Four points for big green, one for TBD. Next one. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm not here now. <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, to Hilly for that one. <laughs> oh, come on, I got it. I've been hearing All Star my whole this whole time. Go ahead. Um, coconut tree. Yes, correct. Next one. Oh, um, hey, uh, hey now. Yep, it's Hilly. Douglas fir. Correct. Yeah. Next one. Um, all star. Yes. Is that is that forest preserve? Incorrect. Hilly, you have twenty seconds. Do you have an answer? Oh, I got it. Fuck. No. Okay, the answer was four leaf clovers. That point goes to producer Katie. We are going to go into our next round. Um, Big Green has four points, TBD has three. If you are swapping out your people, please swap them out now. Molly, are you staying in? Yeah. Okay, and Ben. Oh, she's staying in. Okay. Let's go. Our, our next round is going to be the 2000s. The 2000s. Here we go. Hey now. Go ahead. Hey now, hey now. I know, hey now. go ahead. Oh, sorry, High School Musical. Correct, we are tied four to four. High School wow. Musical, here's the next one.
Hey, now. Go ahead. Motorola Razor. I believe that's right. That is right. Uh, five for TBD, four for Big Green. Here's our next one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, that one's instant messenger. I messed it up. We're gonna we're gonna skip that one. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go to the next one. Uh all star. Go ahead. All star. Bills, bills, bills. Yes, that is correct. We are tied five to five. Okay, next one. <laughs> Big green, help me, please. All star. Go ahead. Blockbuster. <laughs> that is correct. Big green pulls ahead six to five. Here comes our next one. Alter. Go ahead. Coming to you from Green. That's Harry Potter. <laughs> Correct. Harry Potter. <laughs> We're not getting all yeah, these on I have the team writing these answers. Okay. Okay, next one. Uh, all star. Go ahead. Oh shit, Chris. Now I have what you just said. Um, that let's go with uh, that's um, that's a, 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 a Mac located. Okay, that is incorrect. Ben, you guys have 20 seconds. Help me, people. And Marissa, I can't. I don't know who the person is. You're writing in the Zoom piece. chat. What'd you say, Kelsey? Who's the bottom on the bottom left? People, chat me. Oh damn it! I'm looking at the wrong chat. Yeah, Ben, That's... you're not even in our chat. You guys have ten seconds. Marissa, I can't visually see this one because I'm really blind. So just tell me if he gets it right or not. Okay. Figuring no JK answers. I'll say. I'll say. Them. Ben, do you have an answer? Oh, uh, I will. Mac no. Come on, the time was up. Macley Cated. No. no, it was that is not correct. Ah! Oh. Okay, next one. Um, uh, all star, all star. Go ahead, all star. That's MySpace top eight. <laughs> MySpace top eight, that is correct. Big Green has eight, <laughs> TBD has five, Katie the producer has two. We're going to go into our next round. If you want to swap anyone out, please do it now. Do you guys want to? <laughs> Everyone's typing really fast. Molly, um, you're on fire. Keep going. All right, I'll keep going. You guys keep answering, please. <laughs> I'll just stay, it's fine. TBD, got Deanna. Okay, great. Um, our next category is going to be famous people with familiar names. Famous people with familiar names. Okay, our first one. Uh, all star, all star, all star, all star. Go ahead. All star. That's uh, Ryan Lochte. Correct. Next one. That buzzing. Uh, well, all star, all star, all star. Go ahead. I think it's, is that Keith Urban? Correct. Keith Urban? Yeah, Great. Deanna, I think your AirPods are making a little buzzy. Can we? Yeah. 
Can I, can we do without your ear pods? Thank you. That was Cam on Keith Urban. Nice. Oh, hello. Thank you, Molly. <laughs> I'm just reading. Okay, next one. Um, that's, uh, um, yeah, I got that. What's next? Uh, hey now. Yep. Joey Lauren. That is Joey correct. Lawrence. Joey Lawrence. Rinse, not wash. Okay. Okay. Next one. Hey now. Yep. Molly Shannon. Correct. Yeah, sure. Come on, Green. Next one. Um, that's a um, uh, uh, all star. All -star. Yep. Yeah. All star. Yeah. Go ahead, Molly. Um, I think that's Sophie Turner. Correct. Next one. Hey now. Yep. Go ahead, Deanna. Aaron Brockovich. Correct. It's hard to remember your thing. All star. All star. All star. Okay. Next one. Um, uh, no. I'm going to go, I'm going to go all-star. Hey, no. Okay. Is that Beyonce Knowles? Um, Marissa, is that a correct answer? No, that is not a correct That is answer. not a correct answer. Deanna, you have 20 seconds. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. I got it. I'm sorry, everyone. Beyonce Carter Knowles? Beyonce Knowles Carter? Carter? Correct. That is okay. correct. Okay. Okay, hold on, let me turn my timer off. Okay, next one. Uh, hey now? Yep. Cameron Diaz? Correct, we are tied 10 to 10. Okay, we're um, gonna- Wait, wait, that, oh, that's not the score, I think. It's, it's 10 to 11. Who has 11? The big green. They got three in the last round. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, big green has 11, TBD has 10, Katie has two. We are moving into our next um, category. If you want to swap out, now is the time to do so. Guys, what do you want to do? I'm staying. Great. I'll stay. Okay. Our next category is winter things, winter things. I'm from Florida, by the way. Just type, type fast, type fast. Uh, hey now? Yep. Caroling? Yes, that is correct. Now we are tied 11 to 11. Caroling, okay. Um, all star. Uh, yep. oh, oh God. Um, I believe that's love actually. That is correct. Yeah. Next one. Hey now. Yep. Snowboarding. Correct. We are tied again. Snowboarding. Snow. Boarding. Oh, boarding. boarding. Okay, next one. Um, all-star, all all-star. Yeah. yeah. That's gingerbread house. Correct. Next one. Uh, all-star. Go ahead. Um, that's, is that pouring hot chocolate? That is incorrect. Ah. So my timer, Deanna, you have 20 seconds. Okay, um, I'm staying with hot chocolate. Um, drinking hot chocolate? That is correct. Okay. We are tied 13 oh, to 13. 
Here comes our next one. Um, I saw start. Uh -huh, I'll start. Yeah. Molly. That is ice skate. Correct. 14 to 13. Here comes our next one. Come on, guys. Um, oh, fuck. Hold on. Do you guys like that hey answer? Now? Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, hey, now? Go ahead. Wrapping nope. gifts? That's oh. incorrect. Molly, you have 20 seconds. All right. I'm going to guess, Cam, is it what you wrote <laughs> or what I put? Uh, I'm going to guess uh, that that is, uh... come on, team. How much more time, Kels? Three, two. We're going to go, we're going to Sleepy Hollow? That's incorrect. <laughs> um, okay. Katie gets a point that was Snuggle. I don't know how you get snuggle, but uh, I would love a break. Hey, down. look, okay, here's, can I just say that when you Google ghouls, they're really, really scary <laughs> and they definitely wouldn't make you think of a ghoul. This is what we have to work with. It's cold in the winter. What do you got? Love it. <laughs> love it so much. Okay, here comes our next one. Um. That is all star. Go ahead. That is decorating a tree. Um, Marissa, is it that? I can't see. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Woohoo, good job, Molly. Decorate a tree. And that was the last one. So Big Green has won by two points to TBDs, <laughs> 15 to 13. There you go, Molly. Um, Super job. And we are unfortunately going into an instant banishment. So TBD, please keep your videos on. Big Green, we're going to boot you out of this. Um, Bye. On. Thank you, team. Team, you're great. <laughs> Booting people. You sneaky green people waiting for me to boot you instead of just leaving. Um, I think I have all of them. Okay. Guys, <laughs> we're freaking here again. Um, and I don't know if B is still watching and that's why I didn't use the F word. I'm trying to be careful with my language. I'm turning off the chat. Um, you guys are here again at Banishment. Someone will be going home tonight. I'm gonna ask some questions. We're gonna chat for a bit and then it will be time to vote. Um, Jody, from the looks of all the Zoom, there is no plan in place. No, I don't, I don't think there is. I, <laughs> I, I literally don't know. I don't think there is. And I really wanted to win that challenge and I don't, we were really close. And I think everyone did a really good job and that was really good. And Molly's a, Molly. <laughs> I knew she was going to do well with that. No, sure. And the other person who has historically been good at this game last season was Joey. Oh, yeah, but mm -hmm. yeah. Joey isn't here. Deanna, if you had had Joey still on the team, do you think you guys would have won tonight? I think so, yeah. I think we would have won. Um, I think there also probably would have been a plan for an instant banishment. Um, you know, not many people talked to me today. Um, 
I would think that you would count Sophie and I's two loyal votes, but no one really acted like that was the case. So, um, you know, Sophie and I have a plan and we've told a couple of people that plan um, and we plan to stick with it. And um, that's it, that's it. So Sophie, I do see you typing feverishly. Do you have a plan which Deanna is alluding to or are you still figuring stuff out? Um, I mean, me and Deanna have a plan and so we're open. We're two votes who are staying strong together and anybody who wants to vote with us is open to Slack us. So Ben, you returned from exile not a mere less than 48 hours ago, you joined this team. It sounded like you thought your name was on the chopping block yesterday and you didn't go home. How are you feeling now? Because I believe you had two votes on you. I, I did. And yesterday, I feel like yesterday, I probably felt how Deanna feels right now or said, said how she's feeling. Um, and I agree with Jody that there was no plan. I, there was like general exhaustion and discomfort and distrust and, you know, everyone, I think everyone was lied to yesterday by someone. Um, and I feel like I'm not making a lot of sense. I'm just saying what's coming to my head. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I, I sometimes votes allow clarity and allow teams to move forward together. And sometimes they make people uh, upset and uh, uncertain and no one knows how to approach anybody. And I just hope everyone had fun in that challenge even though we lost, because it was fun even though I was freaking looking at the wrong chat <laughs> for half of my round, which was so dumb, all time dumb. Um, so Gray, Ben brings up a good point. You know, you have to move forward from this and there, you know, with, with every big blind side, there are going to be emotions. There's going to be fallout. How do you move forward and pick up the pieces, the merges around the corner of, you know, being able to mend fences and convince people to not vote emotionally? I mean, it's hard. I, my season was on the other side of a blind side. And so I'm very aware of how it feels um just on like an emotional human level no matter what side you are like last night was i don't know if there are kids watching but it was really shitty <laughs> um it did not feel good i think all of us were very emotionally spent afterwards and today i think a lot of people needed to just like take a break and take a breather um and it is it's difficult to move past something like that sure so Deanna, I want to go back to you for a second because Gray is making a good point that also she and her season was a part of a blind or she experienced a blind side. So do you feel like coming back to All Stars, knowing what people have gone through before, that there is some compassion of like, okay, you went through this, I can understand. And now you are on the other side, that sort of thing. And people, people being able to experience different things than they did in their original season. Um, yeah, I, I felt like there would be um, more compassion and more empathy. Um, you know, we all make moves for our game, but it just, yesterday's vote was a little bit more difficult because I know that Joey in the chats was brightening up my day and everyone else's day. Um, and it really hurt to see him to be, be the one to be gone, especially in a blind side in a blind side that seems um, that Gray was involved in, someone who has experienced one. And it just, to me, that decision, like felt like it would have been really, really hard. And um, I was having trouble all day thinking why she made that decision. Um, I understand why Jody, Ben and Hilly may have made it, but um, it was difficult to see her make it because I understand that that first vote on Lala did not, we weren't on the same side, but moving forward, we tried to put it in the past and I thought we had, um, but this just seems like a lateral move from a group of four to an unstable group of four. Um, I thought that the group of me, Sophie, Joey and Gray was gonna be, it was a predictable group. We all had each other's back. We've 
been playing the game together from the beginning and um it doesn't seem like like post merge not everyone's intentions are clear but i think that my intentions and sophie's intentions and joey's intentions were clear um so wait, it was a confusing wait. move so two things though and i want to push back because i would i understand what you're saying i do but with Gray being blindsided in her original season, she wasn't able to make any big game moves. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I feel like, is there an understanding of someone wanting to come back and play yeah. this game and make those big moves that they did not have the chance to before? Yeah, I guess I just had hoped that we would make them together. And I think that's why I was upset about it. But um, I totally understand and I respect it. And um, I hope that she, moving on, will get the acknowledgement for the role that whatever role she played in that move. So great. I want to go back to you because I also, you know, one of the challenging things is you can be a group of four, three, five, whatever. There's always going to be someone at the bottom of that number. Did you feel that you were at the bottom of that four, that original Lala? Yeah. I mean, it was increasingly becoming aware to me that I was on the bottom of that. Um, I had people tell me that they didn't trust me. Um, because of the Tommy vote. And so when that information comes back to you, like that's going to start churning things in your head. Um, and sorry, I'm getting, it's been a really hard 72 hours, whatever. Um, sorry. That's okay. Um, this, I just feel like, this, yeah, ahead, I just sorry. feel like this thing has you so hard and it's been, very different than my past season. Sure, and I I want to acknowledge that as well. I know the producers all talk about it. It's incredibly difficult doing all stars because we all know and love you, and it's just inherently more layered. So, Hilly, you know, I have to ask. It didn't look like you were typing that much during all of this. Did you? Do you feel that you have a plan? Oh, I've been typing away. I can't even feel my fingers right now. Um, um, you know, it's it's interesting. This it's hard to say. Um, I was limited today. I know Deanna said we not many people tried to reach out or talk much, but um, I instantly last night wanted to talk to Sophie and 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 at least um, explain what ha explain why I voted how I did. Um, and at least see how they were doing. Deanna is right though. I, I did not reach out to her, but in honesty, she didn't reach out to me either. And she, we haven't really communicated the last few days. Um, so I didn't feel in the position to reach out after the vote last night, if she was having harsh feelings. And as the rest of the team said, it's been a really heavy day for all of us. Um, last night's vote was not easy. Um, Joey is a, is a fan favorite and there's a reason for that and, and his I think his exit interview proved why he was a threat and why um, one of the reasons why we thought that had to happen there were many reasons which this isn't the place to explain that but um, you know I, I don't want to there's no plan but we also haven't been ignorant to the fact that this would be an instant tribal and I know that was mentioned earlier that we haven't talked about that and Joey would have and like okay but Joey's gone and like Half of us were talking about the fact of an instant tribal and we were trying to make a plan. We were trying to reach out to certain people for a reason. And so it's just a little frustrating to hear that when half of like literally I've been trying to plot this in my head all day to keep the alliances I want safe um, and and strategize with the people that I, I think could be could have been strategizing. So there's no plan, but there could have been is maybe what I'll say. I don't know. <laughs> and Hilly, you know, there is Sophie, I see you shaking your head. What are you shaking your head at? No, I just, I think it's like today was tough because we were all like emotionally just like reeling from last night. So like, I think last night, like I know Deanna and I were like, I'm logging off. Like I need a hot second to just like decompress because like it felt like a lot. And then on top of that, like for a lot of us, I know I've talked to Gray about it. I know Hilly's at work. Like I am working all day long. I started my first meeting at nine o'clock today and I ended my meeting to do this. So like being able to strategize and being able to talk to people and make time for this is not always easy. So like, hopefully people aren't reading into that. Um, I think like between last night's vote and just like having full-time jobs, it can be difficult. But if people are still, you know, able to, and open to working together, then I'm here. Hilly, go ahead and then I have a- I'll make it quick. I wasn't trying to like, I we're all doing different things. I was just saying 
in response to the like, Joey would have thought of a plan no one else did kind of thing. It's like, well, some of us have been trying to do things. I didn't mean like, because people are busy, that was a negative. I understand that fully. So sorry to any of you if it came across that way, truly. So Jody, I want to talk about the, the, one of the biggest inherent challenges of playing this game is we're all in our own homes and we can choose to walk away from the computer and we can choose to not respond to a message in a way where when you watch Survivor, they all have to go back to the camp together. They all have to rely on each other for food and shelter and all of that and kind of have to confront things right away. Can you maybe talk a little bit more about like the difference of this and 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 not being able to actually reach people if you want to? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you have your curfew and then you have your handful of Zoom tokens if you choose to use them. And then we're limited to Slack, which is just like typing communication, which is so hard to be able to read people and be able to make things happen. And like, so you can't really get to know people that like well, unfortunately, and it's harder and we are all in our own home. So that's like up to our own regard, whether we decide, you know what, let me step away from my computer for a second. And like, it's times like this where I almost, you know, I am unemployed. So like, I see the benefit of having a job where you can be like, let me distract with work or let me come back here. Like this is always here for me. So I have to like physically leave my phone and computer here and run away. Yeah. So Ben, off of that, like it, you know, the obvious, we're in a global pandemic. It can be hard when you're investing so much of yourself in this game to not separate or to be able to separate yourself from it. And like, I'm going to point out the obvious, you and Sophie know each other and it appears like you're on opposite sides of the vote. How does that, how, how do you, you know, move forward from that? You're muted. Just so you know, Ben. Sorry. I mean, yeah, it's, it's uh, a, a little interesting when it's like curfew goodbye. And then there's like the family thread talking about grandma. Hey, Ronnie. Um, <laughs> and uh, you just, I mean, thankfully we played season one together. And I will say, thankfully, not for me. Um, we were on opposite sides there. So we learn to process our feelings and um, keep things separate. So I think like the separation is okay. Um, but if you'll indulge me for a second, Kelsey, there's actually an analogy. I I've been thinking of something over the last couple of days and I just want to say it, you know. Go ahead. Um, so I've recently learned there's this Arctic bird that lives high on these cliffs and what they eat, these plants grow like below where they nest. And the birds can't fly until like three months in, they have to eat and the, the adults can't bring the food up to the birds. So what they do like three days into their lives is they literally run off the cliff and tumble down and 40% of them die. And the other 60% of them nurse back to health, get their food and then go on to live hopefully happy lives. And I've thought a lot of my game uh, and maybe for everyone, this game has been like those baby birds wanting to fly, but needing just to run off that cliff, hope we make it, get that food nurse back to health, and then hopefully later we could spread our wings. I mean, that's beautiful. I can't go off of that. I can't top that. Um, also, just like it feels like it's been a very emotionally taxing past few days. Don't want to keep us here longer than we need to. So we are going to go into the vote. Um, and I'm gonna begin with Deanna. Kelly? Ben? Jody. Sophie.
and gray. Okay, now before I read the votes, does anyone have a hidden immunity idol that they would like to play? If so, now would be the time. Okay, um, I want you all to bring out your phones, turn on your phone lights, your light re represents your life in this game. Once I read the votes, the decision is final, the player with the most votes will be asked to leave. Um, I also just wanna say like, it is really fucking hard to do this season and it sucks that you guys have been here so much. Like, I don't want to see you here every day. Like, and I love so many of you and this isn't fun for any of us. Um, and yeah, just like we care about you all and I hope that you feel that and I'm not enjoying this, but with that, I'm going to begin this fucking vote. Um, first vote is gray. That's one for gray. Second vote is Deanna. That's one for Gray, one for Deanna. Third vote is Deanna. That's one for Gray, two for Deanna. Next vote is Gray. We're tied two for Deanna, two for Gray. Deanna, three for Deanna, two for Gray. And our next person leaving the island is Deanna. Deanna, do you have anything you'd like to say before you go? This was fun. Um, I had a great time. You know, it felt too good to be true to feel this good for so long. Um, thank you guys for, you know, keeping me on my toes. Um, thank you, Kelsey, for, you know, hearing me out yesterday because I definitely had a rough time. Um, We'll see what's on the other side. <laughs> I love all of you. So Deanna, you will be joining the quarantine. We're gonna add you there. Um, I, uh, you know, I freaking love you, Deanna. So um, this is no fun, but I, you are leaving uh, the quarantine island. I'm forgetting all the words. Um, TBD, I love you guys so much. Get it together, I beg of you, please. Um, have a good night, everybody. QI reply, Jake is on with Scott from season four. They will be on tonight. If you need to catch up on anything, check out our YouTube. Instagram will have all the confessionals. Have a good night, everybody, and happy Hanukkah. Bye.